Президент Обама упомянул о об одной из угроз, это ИГИЛ. Ну а кто помогал вооружать людей, которые в Сирии боролись с, с Асадом? -то? It's a disaster, and here's the thing. We've been funding people who are allied with ISIS. ISIS is stronger because we've been funding Islamic rebels in Syria. It's a big mistake. It's a big mistake. In this video clip, you're going to hear John McCain accidentally reveal that the United States wanted to arm ISIS. So, here you go. Already, the meeting in the White House over two years ago, everyone in the national security team recommended uh, arming ISIS. Uh, arming ISIS. Uh, arming ISIS. During, during the 80s, uh, you know, we were allied with Osama bin Laden and uh, we were con contending with the Soviets. It was at that time our CAA thought it was good if we radicalized the Muslim world. So we financed the madrasa schools to radicalize the Muslims in order to compete with the, with the Soviets. I mean, let's remember here, the people we are fighting today, we funded, we funded. 20 years ago and we did it because we were locked in this struggle with the Soviet Union they invaded Afghanistan and we did not want to see them control Central Asia and we went to work and it was President Reagan in partnership with the Congress um, led by Democrats who said you know what sounds like a pretty good idea let's deal with the ISI and the Pakistani military and let's go recruit these Mujahideen and that's great. Let's get some to come from Saudi Arabia and other places, importing their Wahhabi brand of Islam, their Wahhabi, their Wahhabi brand of Islam, so that we can go beat the Soviet Union. Saudi Arabia trying to destroy a monster that it helped create. My next guest tells me, better late than never, Saudi prince and billionaire businessman Al-Walid bin Talal Join me earlier from Paris. Doesn't Saudi Arabia also bear so much of the brunt of the blame for the rise of ISIS and such groups? So when the, the, the Syrian uh, civil war began, Saudi Arabia and many other Gulf countries uh, and many, many other countries in the world also supported uh, all those groups that were trying to, to topple uh, the regime over there. And unfortunately, the result of that was uh, the rise of ISIS. The rise of ISIS. <laughs> we have a president that gets whipped or he bows to the Saudi king. Why? So, what if him and his administration are intent on, they are intent on killing the American dream by giving it away, surrendering it, or funding the Muslim Brotherhood in, and the Arab Spring to form the caliphate that is coming? All the Muslim countries say, Death to America. We're the big Satan. Now, funding them and giving them weapons, is that not treason? reason we went into Iraq uh, was uh, the main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction it turns out he didn't but he had the capacity to make weapons of mass they were what did Iraq have to do with what the attack on the World Trade Center nothing except for it's part of 
And nobody's ever suggested in this administration that Saddam Hussein ordered the attack. Iraq was a uh, Iraq the, the, the Iraq was a uh, Iraq the, the, the Iraq was a uh, Iraq the, the, the